Welcome back my friends, welcome to another lecture. So we have a lot of things to do, so let's do start doing some things like creating this or I'm just gonna close this one. And so we need to fix this part, it's not good. Uh, now we need to extend here, we need to remember, use the uh, app admin, wait, admin blade. So here we do have this master layout file and we can extend it here. Now. Uh, how are we gonna do extends and we say layouts layouts in app admin very good now the next section will be the next part will be section B section and we will say content well we we're, we're gonna put our content there so I'm gonna say h1 and I'm gonna say view view all users save it now see what's happening here. Yeah, the name, uh, trying to is the name of the object. What's happening? Ah, uh, username, probably. Admin users. Trying to get property name. Uh, now we have a problem here. The problem is that, um, in our admin users controller as you can see here admin users controller is only we have the middleware what web and we need to auth admin as well now how we can do this we can say public public function we can call the construct here And inside, we can just say this middleware, and we're gonna use. Oops, sorry. This, ah, uh, come on. This middleware, and we can call the middleware here auth admin. Now I think so. We should have should have fixed our problem. Yeah, view all uh, view all of our users. Now everything is working. I'm still logged in as administrator. Very good. I'm just gonna close this part here. Now, what else we need to do here is that we are uh, trying to create a table. So, after the view all users, by the way, you can put here margin, bottom, or whatever you want. You can add classes, not to look like this. So be better than me. So I'm just trying to show you things. I don't want to like waste time for aesthetic things like that so but I'm I really like to my application to look very nice now enough of talking so here I'm going to say I'm gonna create a row and inside I'm gonna say call and inside call MD8 and I need to offset to yeah like that so this is what we have done div class so I press tab so call md8 and offset 2 very good now I'm gonna copy something from bootstrap uh, bootstrap for not nah. strap tables so I'm gonna copy some tables here by the way we do have it in our application but uh, yeah let's do this table dark so I'm just gonna copy it's easier for me it's uh, like way more easier now I'm gonna paste that table there I'm gonna save it and see what's happening very good so we have first last and actually we don't need all of this but that's what we have and we can add table dark in what in we can say table responsive I think so let's see what's happening right maybe maybe I did misspell that one and that's why it's not working so table responsive should be like that and in table head we can move this one here and say table responsive and table word very good just gonna refresh now it's gonna be like that and I'm gonna oops I'm gonna add this one here in the head I'm gonna say table um, table dark now it should be good like this so I don't want 
I just want a heading to be like that. Nothing else. Here it is. Now it looks like a little bit different. Table border. So you can, if you don't want it, you can ditch the table border. That's it. Now we do have this one. Very good. Um, here we say username. Let's populate our table. Create an email. What it was next? Created and updated at. Created at. I'm just gonna copy it now. Oops. No, no. My computer sometimes doesn't listen to me. So here we are going to do a couple more things, but we will do them in the future. So updated at. Uh, what else? Uh, the last part, next part will be role, for example. We will have user roles, we will have their status. So if I don't do all of them, so yeah, you can do it. Now, the next part, the most important is edit and delete probably. Edit block and delete, right? One more. So status, edit, block, very good, and delete. Now, if I refresh, I should see more, right? And table border now will work. Very good. Now we do have this. Um, this is not coming from our database, by the way. So don't worry, don't be angry at this point. Now in the table body, remember that our admin controller we do pass all of the users, right? Now in the table body, actually, here, what we can do, we can create an if. So we can say if, not like that, if, and maybe that one, or probably if, yeah. Now if count, so we're gonna say if count users, so it's greater than zero or different than zero, yeah, it will yield the same result. Um, I want to look through them, right? So I'm going to say here for each. So the collection, the name of the you can use that that same collection if you use it here, right? If you say collection here and collection past. So sometimes I do that. You know, in my uh, programs or whatever I do, I just use it because yeah, I don't want to change it. So collection and item it's very good. Now here are users and user so what I just basically try here is to copy this TR. I'm just gonna cut it and everything else, I, I don't need it. I, every other table row, I don't need it. I'm gonna put it here inside this for each. So I have table row there, table H, table heading, and I will say row, and after that I have table data. So here, I can access the user ID, right? user ID now next part will be user oh, okay this part, part here is not good so user so the second one will be username user email and um, created and updated at created not th like that created at and I'm just gonna copy it one more time and then paste it down and say updated at Now, if we are to here, we do have to put the row. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put them here as a reference. I'm just gonna, yeah. So what I'm going to say here, table data, another one, and I'm gonna say row, user row, and because I don't have anything to fill at the moment, just I don't want them to be blank. Um, now, the other one will be status. So the other one will be edit. At this one we can do it in block, right? But let's do it like this, just to see if I can list all of the users. This is what I'm, what I'm trying to do. And delete. Don't worry, this will be totally different in future lectures. Now I'm just gonna refresh and see what's happening here. Yeah, I do have Rick, and this is table responsive, right? This is what. Rick, RickHotmail.com, and yeah, pretty much it. That's what we want. So created and updated that they're working like a charm. Everything else, it's not because it's not finished. Okay, 
So, um, <laughs> I'm sorry about I'm a little bit sometimes I can, uh, yeah. Now, what we can do is we can create a route for the edit. If we look at here, this is how we can do it, right? But we have the name, so we can use it that users edit and we can pass this username very good now i just need to find the where it it is and here it is now here i'm just gonna create a link and i'm gonna say href now this one will go to route but first we need to open up that curly brackets route and we say admin right we need to follow this one oops not that one we need to follow this one use admin users edit right that's why I create the name admin users edit very cool now the second parameter is we need to specify which user will we will edit and that's the we're gonna target by the user ID and we're gonna say just edit user and we're done by the way let's try it out now here it is if I hover it user one on the bottom here on the bottom you can see that there is a user two and user three right we do have these users user one these are the IDs so that's what we are trying to do so when I click them so if I don't if I click them there is a, actually we don't have a view but we can do that definitely in the future right and um, yeah pretty much it after that we're gonna create a form for updating and destroying actually deleting this one All right so actually here we can just create the delete part I'm just gonna hit enter and we're gonna stop after this so form open uh, another one we need to open and I'm gonna say very good action so this is the action part in the action what we will do it will hit the admins users what it will hit the admin users controller right I'm just thinking of something guys admin users controller and we're gonna say destroy here we already have this method here if I show it to you it's empty by the way so I'm just trying to, to, to hook it up this one and action admin users destroy and the second parameter that we need to pass it here is the user ID right because we need to know what we need to do now after this we need to put a comma and we need to specify the method the method will be what what you think delete of course delete like this all capitals it will work by the way if you don't put it all capitals but yeah just make it like this now next part is to close this form form close like that also here we need to add the C uh, CSRF protection right I explained what that means in uh, like the previous lectures now we need only one button form submit that's it form submit and delete user and comma after that we can specify in the brackets like this we can specify the class and we will say okay I want to be BTN BTN danger here it is delete user very good so because it's BT and danger by the way if you don't want to use this one control U or you don't need to do that because you can download the project and see and you can open up and write inspect page view page source and you can see how this is done in a regular form this is how it's done here so you can if you're using regular form this is the way you need to do All right very good so I hope you like this lecture we haven't done much we just list all we just viewed all of the users and for some reason this one is playing with us a little bit uh, yep like that it should be good
because it was zoomed in too much. Now view all users, as I told you, you can create a class here of P4. And let's see what's happening. Very good. Now we fixed that part. Now we do have all of the users listed from the database. It's working. Edit and delete user functionality. It's not. So we're going to do that in the next lecture. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I will see you in the next one.